Hello, hello, you Zelda nerds, as I am very much one myself. Uh, ever since this game has been released, I have been playing the poop sickle out of it. Everything about it is awesome. It's gorgeous. There's so much stuff to do, so many places and treasures to uncover. And, you know, it's definitely on the top of my list of one of my favorite Zelda games of all time, if not my favorite video game ever. Around the time of the release, and even months and years before this game came out, there's been lots of rumors and speculations from a bunch of people, including Nintendo, about the size of the game. How big is this map actually going to be? How massive is the game? It was one of the big selling points. And if you've played this game, you already know this game is freaking huge. It takes forever to get from area to area, and it doesn't even feel like a chore to do so because there's always stuff to do and secrets to find and beautiful scenery. And, you know, it's just wonderful. But I really wanted to, you know, set out and say, let's actually take a look at how long it takes to run around the entire map. Now... This did take 3 hours, 18 minutes, and 32 seconds. That was the final time that I clocked in at. And the rules were pretty simple. I just stuck to the very edge of the map, basically pushing the boundaries, uh, the limit boundaries on all four sides of the map, if you will. You will also notice that I did speed up the video 10 times so that you do not have to sit here for the full three hours and 18 minutes. And another thing you'll notice too is I'm not sprinting. I'm just holding the analog forward. So this is a walk or a jog, depending on how you look at it in the game, of completely the complete perimeter of the entire map so a few things about it for for example in this sand level the boundary tells you that you're out of bounds if you get too far into the sandstorm so I tried to push just that boundary maybe stay a little inside the sandstorm so that you could actually see a little bit of the beauty of the game in the desert because the desert is an awesome area Another thing, when I get to the water areas, I did not want to use any sort of craft, so I didn't want to use any sort of boats. I strictly wanted to use Link on his feet or swimming. Um, so this made it a little bit tricky to traverse the beaches because I wanted to stay as far out as possible. For example, if there were rocks on the side, I really wanted to try to swim to those rocks, conserve my stamina, and leave myself enough time to you know get back to the shore. But I did not want to go all the way out to Far Islands because you simply would not want to make it there. For the cliff faces, like the one I'm climbing here, I just stayed on the very edge of the cliff or even sometimes dropped down and scaled the side of it. It, um, because the boundaries on the cliff areas is pretty much an endless pit that you will just fall to your death. I did have a few deaths. I think I had two in the water. Uh, I thought I had enough stamina to make it somewhere and I didn't. It wasn't a big deal. It just spawns you in a close location. You get back to the location where I died and I continue the run. And then I think I did have another one at the very end of the run where I started uh, where an enemy spawned and he hit me with his weapon and knocked me off. Once again, just got right back to where I got knocked off and continued the run. Um, so yeah, guys, as you can see, I had a couple extra minutes or hours in my schedule today, so I decided to do this. I think this is really cool. If you have played this game, it'll be neat to just sit here if you have 20 minutes to see the whole perimeter. Maybe we've, you'll even see a couple secrets that you're looking to uncover. I know I did. I just passed them because I was just trying to get a time. Uh, if you haven't played this game, this is definitely sort of a spoiler, uh, but if you just want to check out how big this map is, this is a really good video to get an idea for how big it is and if it wasn't so sped up you would be even more blown away about how long this actually took this got very boring and very tiring but i'm glad i did it i did it for you guys and uh yeah, I hope that uh, you enjoy watching it. If you do decide to watch the whole 20-minute video, I hope you're enjoying this game as much as I am. I thank you so much for you know tuning into this video. I don't normally post a lot of uh, Zelda content. I'm mainly a Destiny content creator, but you know this game's so awesome. If there's cool things that I come across, or maybe some challenge ideas that I'll come up with in the future, I will continue to post some content. But hey, spread the word, guys. Uh, like I said, enjoy and have a good day.
You've done Come to her